Hey, Danielle. I'm making a video for you of cutting John's hair. Um, so we can have a tutorial for cutting gays. <laughs> uh, so I already started cutting this hair. I didn't think about this until after I started cutting it. But I have a half inch on my thing, and I've got the... I don't know if you can see this, but the little handle on the side that turns the blade longer or shorter. I've got that all the way up. So I'm doing the longest layer first all the way around his head. And then I'm going to go down to the next. So I'm going to finish. This is the size he wants for the top of his head, which is the longest. So I'm just making everything the same length. I've already done this on the rest of his head for the most part. I find that it's easiest if it's like the day after he's washed it. If it's right after he washed it, then the hair is too clean and it doesn't cut well. Also, if it's too dirty, it doesn't cut well. <laughs> okay, so now most of his hair is half inch long. So now I'm going to switch down to the next size, which is three eighths. And I'm going to go up to where I want it to start getting shorter. So I'm going to do everything from here up to about here. And try to blend it into the longest layer. Do it all this length and then I'll do the same thing with the next smallest size. I use four sizes of guards and then take the guard off to do his neck. So I just go up to the top line all the way around. So this is what I remember Kelly doing when she was learning how to do this, figuring it out. She actually went to the barber shop with me and watched them cut my hair before she tried it. Well, that was a year after we'd been married, so I did do that. I, I, that wasn't the first time, I don't think, that I'd cut your hair, but I did watch to see what the lady did. She used scissors a lot, though, which I don't. So I just use the clippers. But it was helpful to see how she, she did use clippers too. She just did the top with scissors. So that was helpful, but yeah, YouTube's got a lot of uh, videos on that. So I just went around with my 3 8 guard. Now I'm going to put on my quarter inch guard. Whoops, knock them in the sink. And I still have the actual blade raised up. So I'm going to go around until like just below where I took the last one up to, going all the way around his head, doing the next smallest size down. All right, taking my quarter inch off, putting on my eighth of an inch. There's a, bit of, a good bit of difference between these two. So I try to put it at an angle. I don't know if you can see that. So instead of going straight up, I will come in sideways at an angle. I don't know if that's easy to see or not. So I'm gonna come up straight on the bottom part, but when I get to the top, I'm gonna kinda come in angles where I took the other one too, so it blends. Trimming the bottom up. And coming in at an 
single to blend. Be careful though, because you like I just did that closer than I meant to. Um, but you're not like just sticking a corner of everything, because that'll cut it closer than you want. Just do try to do an angle towards the edge of where that is. You want me to turn? Uh, no, no, it's okay. I already did that side. For her to see. Well, I don't know. If she can see that that's yeah, because it's tilting towards the camera. But yeah, you just take it straight up and you try to blend the top edge in a little bit. At least that's how I like to cut it. You can cut it however you want to. I don't know how Kate wants his hair done, but... Hmm. Look at me. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Shading this thing off. I don't know if you want to go. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, look down. Okay, so I've done the shortest one all the way around now. I'm gonna do behind his ears. So I'm taking off my guard, taking my guard down. <laughs> I'm just brushing the hair off over the trash. That's what that noise is. I do that every once in a while just to keep my clippers uh, clear. So I've got the clippers raised to the higher setting and I'm just going around his ear. I'm going to drop lower my blade. Now it's as short as it goes. I'm just going to be very careful trimming around the ear. I'm just holding his ear down so I can get behind it a little bit. And this other side. Tilt your head. Okay, so now his ears are done, I'm going to trim up the back of his neck. So I have no guard now. I'm going to leave it raised. I'm going to go over the bottom part and then I'll go from there and get some of this hair out of the way so I can see what's actually on him. It's the dishwasher. What is that noise? It's a washing machine. So I'm taking it like I'm clawing the back of his neck with it so it's upside down from what I had been doing. And I'm just kind of scraping the edge of his hairline. Just pull it down against his neck. And now I'm going to shorten it. That's as short as it can go. And I'm just doing the very edge. I'm just pressing it against where I want it to be. Pulling it a little bit. You just decide where you want his hairline to stop and just trim from there down. Okay, now I'm going to go back over the top because I didn't really do a super thorough job. I'm going to go back to my longest clippers. And go back over. Just make sure everything's the same length. We didn't miss anything. <laughs> you may want to do his hair with scissors if he wants it a bit longer than this. On top. Out my hair. 
Oh, have a look at me. Ensuring that this is all one length. This is probably not as clean as I like to cut it, so it's a little bit harder to make sure it's all getting in there. Okay, and then I'm gonna turn this off. And I like to cut the front of his hair. It's a little tuft with scissors. So I like it a little bit longer. Now I'm just here. Not oh, face the camera so I can show her. I'm just taking this, just grabbing it by the end, and I'm just I cut it, I like to cut it at an angle. I just cut off I don't know, like an inch, three quarters of an inch. And then I just trim the long pieces that I don't want. doesn't like his hair being super long. I'm going to trim a little bit shorter on the top so I don't have a ton of hair there. I'm the one that likes it long, he does not, so <laughs> try not to leave it too long. I should trim that spot. I'm going to use my brush so I can see what is still actually on his head. And I just trim off stray hairs. Kay probably doesn't have that problem. Not <laughs> <laughs> uh, yet. Okay, look at me. Yep, and he looks pretty good. So, all that done, he's gonna shower and get all this extra hair off of him. And he's done. So hopefully that helped. And call me if you want more help. Bye!